Everyone, welcome back to Femacy Lighthouse. Thank you so much for being here with me once more on my channel. To book a private one-on-one -on -one session with me, all of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. Today, I will be uploading a love reading for Sagittarius and a love reading for Aquarius. So if you're interested in viewing those videos, it's $10. The link for you to purchase will be found in the comment section. The moon is in Sagittarius today. Let's get started. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to energies that surround Taurus in the recent past. Libra and Taurus energy coming out there first. The Empress. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming out second. Tell me more. Energies that surround Taurus. Leo energy, give me more. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, tell me more. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And then we have this Two of Swords energy. And what I have to say right away is it takes more energy to make pretend that you're happy so I don't know who that is. Someone is making pretend that they're happy and to fake it is so exhausting, right? To fake it around certain individuals, certain family members, a certain person that you claim to love. And perhaps you just really don't love them. You just are happy for the things that they have provided you with, you know? It could be something like that. Um, I feel you're not focused on the material right now. I feel like you're focused on some new developments that you are being discreet about because not everybody needs to know these details about whatever it is that you're pursuing or what you have going on. They do want to question you and I have been telling you about that. I feel that you could be blocking somebody or not allowing them to come back into your life. You have boundaries in place. And I feel like your strength could be intimidating someone around you. It's like someone wants you to need them and you don't need them. You don't. You're doing everything on your own and you're successful at it. But it's like, this person wants you to be weak and you're not, you're not. And so they don't know how to handle you. They don't know how to think about you. And when you are in full power and when you are confident, they feel like you're unmanageable, right? And it's all because you actually believe in yourself and you don't need anybody else to help you do that. You don't need somebody to cheer you on. You are your own leader. Okay, I feel like this person over here wants to be your leader. They want to be your mentor. They want to be your manager. They want to be the one. And I'm sorry, but they're not. You take care of that all on your own. You know, and this reminds me of, I was here in 50 and he was talking about that he does not have a manager. You know, it's, he's right because if he created what he has, why is he going to give a percentage to somebody else? Absolutely not. No, no, I'll delegate to you, but you're not going to manage me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I, I can have a council but I don't need a manager. So it's like someone wants to see you weak or, you know, wants you to be in this energy of needing their support when you don't. And that makes them feel some type of way. And again, if it does, then they have a deeper issue to address because that's a self-esteem problem. How can they look at you and it makes them feel some type of way 
So then they have to check in with themselves first because there's something wrong. Yeah. So tell me more about this energy. Tell me more about this person in the recent past. How would Taurus know who they are? How would Taurus know who this person is? Tell me more. It could be a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. It could also be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces does not have to be, but this is somebody who disappointed you at one time, you know? They want to feel needed by you. But I don't feel like you're that type. I don't feel like um, you need to stroke this person's ego. Perhaps they look for people like that. You know what I'm saying? They want that type of person. You're just not. Or if you were, you will never do that again, you know? So it's like you learned your lesson. That's how you're going to know who this person is. Talk to me about the present. Talk to me about the present when it comes to this energy. Talk to me about the present. We have Sagittarius energy in reverse. So there could be a Sagittarius that is off balance. This person also can be very impatient. They don't have any patience. This person could be trying to act like they're not bothered, but they are. I feel like this person could also be divulging too much information, way too much information to the wrong people. You know, a lot of talking going on there. It's like there's certain things that don't need to be brought up and do not need to be mentioned, but somebody just keeps talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talk. That's what I'm getting from this energy in the present moment. Tell me more. The Eight of Cups. Someone wants to walk away or leave or just turn their back on a situation. Tell me more about that. It's just too difficult for them. There's chaos going on in this person's life. They want to give up. I don't know what they want to give up on. What do they want to give up on, Spirit? What do they want to give up on? They don't want to they don't want to wait. All right? This person does not have patience in the present moment. Okay? And because of that, I feel like they're talking way too much about personal things that they should not be sharing. You know what I'm saying? Like they need to meditate and speak with themselves and speak to their higher source because the way that they're running their mouth is imperative, okay? It's like, and it's a lot of private shit that they're talking about to like the wrong people, <laughs> right? And, and they could believe that they're speaking to the right people about this until something happens down the line and they're gonna regret it. So it's like someone needs to fucking put a lid on it. Like, yo, talk to yourself in the car so that you don't have to go and blab, you know, everything that's going on to people that you're gonna find out you should have never trusted. Something like that is happening with this person. They don't know who to trust, though. That's why they're talking to the wrong people. They don't know who to trust anymore. That's funny because I feel like this person betrayed a ton of people. So now they don't know how to trust or who to trust. That's, that's weird, right? Now, we have the hermit. We have Pisces energy. And we have someone with mental entrapment. 
Hmm. They're trying to stop thinking so much about something, but they're still talking to the wrong people about it. You know? Talk to me about the future when it comes to this energy. The moon. Pisces. Why is that? Ten of Cups. The Empress. Two times already here. Hmm. Why is that? A baby is not going to keep a man either. So uh, that's very random here. But I'm getting that someone gets pregnant and they feel like that is what's going to make the man stay. No, no. A child is a blessing, you know, but um, I don't know if this person can handle the pressure of having another child. So there's somebody here with the intentions to get pregnant or to have another kid. And it just makes things much more difficult. And a child will not make the man stay. A lot of people know that. And even if he's there, he's still going to wander off. You know, that's a very specific situation there. I don't know who that's for, but that's what I'm getting. Because we have the Empress twice. The Empress that came out over here, I feel, is you. There's another Empress there in the future. So it's like someone's trying to get pregnant or something like that. I don't feel like it's you trying to get pregnant. I don't. So what's the outcome of this situation? Page of Swords. Let's just make a Page of Swords song, okay? I'm going to come up with a song called Page of Swords. That's what I'm going to do at this point because... There he goes. Tell me more about this. For those of you who don't know, the Page of Swords is someone who is watching, okay? The lovers coming out. <laughs> Gemini energy for some of you. Yeah, you have your guard up. They know it. They know you have your guard up. They know that you are turning your back on them or a situation they could be the ones over here that have somebody else pregnant or someone's trying to get pregnant by them and the child is not going to keep them there it it's not that's just what I'm getting heavily here because if someone else is pregnant over here they're still looking at you so that strategy is not going to work. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.